Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing a LEGO City set. This is Pickup and Caravan, set number 60182. Comes with 344 pieces, 3 minifigures, and is recommended for ages 5 to 12. Let's go ahead and take a look at those minifigures. So, first up is our father figure, and he is a pretty simple looking minifigure. Uh, that face is nothing new, neither is the hair. I don't believe the uh, torso print is either, but it is a flannel shirt. I do like the collar that they used for his legs. And spinning him around, he has, just has more printing for that flannel on the back. And no alternate face for this guy. Just a blank yellow head back there. Whoop, that, that did not go back on, right? And uh, yeah, so pretty simple minifigure, but a nice little civilian dude. So, nice minifigure. Let's go ahead and move on to the mom. The mom figure is also pretty simple, nothing new going on with her. She does get a little camera accessory. And uh, looking at that face, this face has been used many, many, many times. And that torso I don't believe is new either. And I do like her leg color as well. And she has no alternate face, but she does have some back printing. And she uses Black Widow's hairpiece, which I do like. It's a nice hairpiece, but would have been nice to get in a new color. But it is nice in that color, and uh, overall, very nice minifigure as well. So, let's go ahead and move on to the child. So, the kid is by far the best minifigure of the set, uh, mainly because of his torso print. He does get this giant net piece, which is a little oversized. Um, but he also gets a nice hat color, and his face is nothing special. We have seen that face many times before, just like the mom. And I'm just going to take his net here, so you can get a better look at the torso. And the torso, I do believe, is new. It is very nice. I like it a lot. has a lot of zippers, a lot of pockets. Uh, again, I like his leg color. And spinning him around, you can see there's the back of the torso. And now that I'm looking at it, actually, it is the same as one of the figures in Outdoor Adventures that people packed for 2018. So I don't know if it's a new 2018 torso, or I just haven't seen it before. Uh, but anyway, this kid is the standout minifigure of the set because of that torso print. So let's go ahead and move on to some of the side builds. And when I say side builds, I mean side builds. Like, these things are small. So first, they are the not really build part is a crab and a fish. Very nice colors for these. Nice to get. But I don't know how I missed that. Huh. But then you get this little uh, stove, which is nice. It uses a nice color for the minifigure head as the base. Then you also get a frying pan, a nice color as well. And then you get this. Like, this... Ugh, I, don't, I don't know about this. Um, I'm trying to get this to focus on it. There we go. Yeah, like, why? <laughs> this is just like, hey, we need to add two more pieces to this set to meet our quota. Uh, any ideas? Oh, yeah, I have one. Let's stick a little bionicle knife piece in a jumper plate and call it a plant. Like, eh, I don't know. I, I would have just rather this not be included. <laughs> um... Because it's so small, like, if you do this, maybe add, like, one or two more, but I would have rather just not have this, because it's really simple and looks kind of weird. But, um, yeah, so the side builds are pretty weird, but, um, yeah, let's just move on to the truck. So, here is the truck, and this is actually my first LEGO City truck, believe it or not. So I won't really be comparing it to anything else, uh, I'll just be judging it as a standalone model. And I have to say, I think it is pretty good. Nothing too crazy going on with the building techniques, but it was a pretty nice. It was a nice build, kind of relaxing after building all these uh, complex Star Wars models. I got this, and it was just a nice little, little rea relaxing break with simple building techniques. And um, uh, the base construction just uses plates, so nothing specialized underneath here. It does use some pretty big tires, so they do stick out on the sides, which some people don't like, uh, from what I've seen on the internet. Um, the back bed has this giant thing, so you connect it to the caravan. The back has the license plate with the designer initials and set number. This you connect so you can drag other things along other than the uh, caravan. Uh, you have some rear lights. And up front, you have some nice uh, grill pieces. You have more. You have headlights. You have a little bar here. More grill pieces here. You can see the dad is inside. Uh, up top, it says Sport 4x4. You get the bar here. And um, this pops off just like this. You can see you have seating for one with a steering wheel. 
No actual chair, it's just kind of simulated with that back piece. And then uh, looking at it, you do kind of get an attempt at review mirrors. Nothing too great, though. I uh, do like the striped tan and gray to kind of break up the red. I also kind of like the little step up that they give here. It's pretty realistic. And uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the truck. Pretty simple, but it is nice. It does its job. It looks like a truck. It's a nice truck. It can roll very well. And uh, yeah, so I do think that is it for the truck. Let's go ahead and move on to the caravan. Here is the caravan. And this thing is actually uh, pretty long. And, uh, like, just to compare it to the truck, uh, you can see, like, kind of the main section of the caravan is kind of about the same size, but this part really adds a lot of length to it. So this thing is uh, actually pretty big. I was kind of surprised when I was building it. Um, but you'll notice that when I put it down, it doesn't want to roll, and it doesn't lean forward at all. It's actually because the designers put this handy little thing in. It's a little clip and stud, and you can raise it while it's being driven around, so it rolls. But then if you want it to stay... You lower it down, and this thing is not going anywhere. So, give you guys a look at the outside before I take you for the inside tour. And uh, there are a lot of stickers in the set, actually. So, uh, pretty much all the words that you see are stickers. And I did my best to get it to line up with the gray and blue stripe uh, that is brick built. But uh, you can see this is a deluxe wildlife caravan camper. Or caravan, I suppose. But, uh... So you have a nice big door piece, uh, lots of big windows. On the back you have some lights, and then you have the other designer's initials, I suppose. And you have uh, lights, like I said, you have another window, big windows, and then another caravan sticker, another deluxe sticker. And this stripe does go all the way around. It is pretty nice. I like that little detail to break up the white. And up top, tiny, tiny little windows for your little bedroom. And then a giant sticker on the top. That was a paint to put on. And then up top, you have a little satellite, I guess, for your TV. And then just a little bit of detailing, I guess, for maybe AC or something. And this front part, I'll show you first. It's actually all one... It's actually mostly one piece. This is a three-piece construction. And this is where you sleep. Um, so I'll go ahead and take the mom, I guess. Put her up here. So, minifigure does fit comfortably, even holding a camera. A pretty nice little bed. And then you can close this up. And forget that you have a minifigure in there for a couple years, and then decide to disassemble the set, pop it out, and discover a minifigure. So, that's a nice little bed chamber. I do like the inclusion of that, so that you're not taking up uh, space in here with a bed. And this door does open, uh, so your, your minifigures can get inside, and I like the inclusion of a little step uh, right there. But that is not how we humans get in. This just flips right open all the way. And you can take the roof off if you want to, but it's attached with all the studs. So I do not recommend it. It is not like other other sets where this where the roof wants to come off. It does not. You're just supposed to open the side. There is a sticker right here. Uh, looks like the kid is watching some monster trucks while he's eating breakfast. And speaking of breakfast, that's really all you get in here. You get a kitchen and a little dining area. So not too much going on. Uh, so the table is very simple. You get two red chairs that can rotate on jumper plates. They're just a little fragile. So go ahead with that. Right there and try to line it up. You also get a single yellow mug and a little coffee maker. It seems like all Lego campers or caravans have a coffee maker. Another white mug. So I'm kind of surprised you don't get a red mug in this set. But it's kind of nice to get some different colors finally. A little stove and oven combo over here. It can flip open, but there's nothing in there, so I suppose if you catch a fish, you can shove him in the oven, but it doesn't really close, so that doesn't really work, and then you kind of get stuck. And then you also get a little cabinet under here that also has nothing in it. Actually, I wonder... Yeah, that's not happening. No, that no, doesn't work. I don't know if that could fit in there, because that would be nice, but it can't. Uh, so, uh, you also have a little step up uh, to your bedroom, so I don't... The minifigure really can't fit through there, so it's just kind of like a nice thing because this kid can't fit through at all. But there's enough room to pose figures so you can have the kid get a little snack in the empty kitchen. And this closes right up. And one thing that I'm not a fan of with this design is that this doesn't have a lock. I mean, there's enough friction with 
three of these things. So, I mean, unless you, like, really start shaking it, it's not going to open. Like, if I just hold it here, it's not going to open. But if you start, like, playing with it, it's going to open. And that's one thing I do like better about the 2016 one that I'm just going to pull in one more time here. Because it has this lock here. Like, the roof also doesn't come off, but it has this lock to prevent this from opening. So that opens. You put this on. Now it doesn't. So now, even if you shake it, nothing's going to open. So I wish they had done something with, like that with this, but I don't really see how you could have done it with the, how they went with this design. It's a really minor complaint, because this really doesn't open too much, and honestly, who's going to be shaking caravan like this? But just a little minor complaint. And uh, yeah, so I think that is it for the caravan, and I'll just show you how it connects to the pickup. So we'll notice the little Technic pin, uh, axle pin here. And just goes right into this little uh, circle, cir circular thing. And then you probably want to raise this up when it's attached to the truck. Then you can roll it around and pull everybody along. One complaint I have about this too is that this is not secure. So if you want to pick up everything, you've got to either grab it separately or grab it like this. Because if you just grab this, it's coming right out. But, um... So I think that is about it for this thing. I'll just go ahead and do this and slide in all the random accessories that have come with the set. And there we go. So just bring it in my sig figs here. So overall, I feel like this is a very good set and a big improvement for the uh, um, 2016 van and caravan. Uh, like I said, I do wish that the door had a way of locking, um, but that is really my only complaint with this thing. Although, actually, it would be nice if this actually stayed together as opposed to being so loose. So, really, just two minor complaints. Uh, the aesthetics of this thing are great. It looks really nice. Um, wish there was a little more space in the caravan, but I don't really see how you could do that besides making it even longer. So... Uh, yeah, I've said this a lot, but overall, I think it's a very nice set. I would definitely recommend it. It is uh, 30 US dollars, so it's a little on the expensive side, but the uh, price part is pretty good. You get three minifigures, and yeah, it's, I do really like this set. I would definitely recommend it, even if you do have the 2016 Van and Caravan. I think this is a nice upgrade. I think they work, work well. You can have them both in like a little camping layout. So, uh, yeah. I would definitely recommend this set, and I do like this set, and you guys want to know what you think of the van, pick up and care of van by either voting in the card in the top right hand corner of the video, or by leaving a comment down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please click that subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell and leave a like on the video, and as always, please share the video with your friends as well. Thanks for watching guys, bye.